Welcome to episode four of me trying to play USA Monopoly in real life. In episode one, I went to Dallas, episode two to Orlando, episode three to Hollywood, and I am now currently stood in Hollywood. The Hollywood sign is literally just behind me. I need to find somewhere where I can open the board and roll the dice so I can see where I'm going next. I'm gonna check up here. Oh my God, look at it up here. There's the Hollywood sign there. There's whatever that is, and there's the whole of LA in the back. Wow, what a spot to get the board out. I'm gonna put the board there, and I'm gonna roll it in front of the sign. Right, community chess go there, chance go there, and then I am currently on Hollywood LA, which is there. Oh, I would love to get a stranger to roll this dice. There's gotta be someone soon. Strange request, can you roll this dice for me? Oh no. Can you just roll it on the board? Oh. Three. Oh my God, you are joking. Can you show me where the piece goes with three? Right to jail. Right to jail. So you've put me in jail. Thank you so much, mate. <laughs> Thank you. And just to okay. clarify, you did roll a three. <laughs> oh, amazing. Oh, great. Well, thanks for that. Where, where are you from? from? I'm from UK. How about you? Germany. Germany. Nice. Uh, Which part? Neighbors. Yeah, literally. <laughs> Bavaria. Bavaria, nice. What's your name, sorry? Pastel. Pastel. Simon, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Are you a fan of Jurgen Klopp for Liverpool? I'm not a fan of Jurgen Klopp. Ah, really? Who? Munchen? Munchen. Ah, nice. What do you think of Harry Kane? Is he doing a good job? Better job than I thought. Really? really? Ah, good. No, he is a great player, isn't he? It's lovely to meet you, Pastel. Have a good one. Right, let's get this board away. Oh my God, I can't believe Bastel has just thrown me in jail. Is he having a laugh? He's just thrown me right under the bus. Oh my God, I don't know whether to laugh or cry, yeah? So just to clarify, the time now is 4.14 p.m. and my 24 hour no money challenge in Hollywood, LA has begun. Oh, I have seen so little people on this trek and then Bastel just rocks up. Come on. Let me tell you, that is the first and last time that I get a stranger to roll that dice for me. Oh my God. So let's just work this out. I'm stuck on top of a mountain. I can't get a taxi now. Taxis are completely off the question, so I'm gonna have to walk it wherever I'm going. On top of that, I haven't got a drink on me. I haven't had a drink for ages. I'm so, so thirsty. I can't even buy a bottle of water now either. So the first plan is to get off this mountain. Then I'm gonna have to walk wherever I'm going. So probably the closest center to anywhere here is probably Hollywood, which can't be a million miles away. So that's probably gonna be where I'm gonna walk to now let's just figure a way down off this mountain first but there's got to be a quicker way than the way i came up it's now 4 30 i've got 30 minutes before these roads close so i need to get down this is the way i come up through this road but then there's this road i don't know whether to go back the way i came or take a chance and go this way i'm gonna take the risk and go the new way instead of going the way i came up fingers crossed this is quicker than the last way Hey, excuse me, is this quicker than that way, do you know? This come out by the bottom? And bottom. You what? speak English? Ah, okay, no worries. Uh, Thank you, you no problem. Did you drive here? No, so I walked up that way. Okay, don't go, that's too far. Is it? Just go down this way. Ah, okay. It and goes into a neighborhood and you can catch a Lyft or an Uber from there. Amazing, thanks so much, man. Appreciate it, have a good one. Boom, I'm going the right way. The gamble always pays off, except when you ask Bastel to roll the dice for you. Oh yeah, it looks like you can get a good view of the Hollywood sign here. <laughs> Let me show you this. Look at that, there she is, the Hollywood sign. I don't have a clue where I'm going now though. That looks like it's someone's house. I'm guessing it's through here. Oh, water. Please tell me you can get some water here. Oh, it's gonna be a shop, isn't it? Where can you get water? Oh, it doesn't look like I can get water anywhere. Gutted, it must have been a shop, but obviously it's closed now, isn't it? Yeah, I walked up the whole thing. I went up the other way though and come back down this way. Thanks for bringing your accent. Yeah, no worries. I was gonna say, you've got some viewers. Do you live here, do you? This is my friend's house. Oh, wow. Some view of the sign from here. Does it ever get boring? When it gets boring, you rest and come back at it. Yeah, exactly. The only way it gets boring is when you're tired. Do you get much trouble here? Like with the sign, do people do much or? Please control it all so well with cameras. Yeah, yeah. The art stuff, man. Look at that wilderness. Is. I know, yeah. I slept here the other night. The place is f haunted. Really? I 
felt like women were coming in. And what, of this house? Yeah, and no one was there, and there was no animals. I slept on the couch. Really? So you just sleep out here? It was just one night I came up and he, he wanted me to do it for a while. And I, uh, the owl came by at dusk. It was a very strange evening. Presences came in and out to check it out. Mate, that's insane. Uh, to Ghostbusters these... 3 is a, we're gonna <laughs> It's so good to meet you though, man. What's yeah. your name? Tim Barry, not US. Mr. Birmingham died in his sleep. 51 in his sleep. Joyful guy. What happened? This evil church. What kind of sermon is that? They put me on the plaque at the Catholic Charities for the marathon. No way. Yeah. So did you do a lot of marathons and stuff? 2018, I started that. We went to New York, 2019, 55,000. Lived on Staten Island, Fair. spying in our hotels. That's not right. Yeah. What's Barry doing now? He's elevating his feet with his spider bites, drinking beer. The neighbors came out and cheered. There's so much good right and left. Yeah. You're yeah. not going to change it all, dude. The world is not perfect. There's so much pain. Yeah. Everyone wants to be right, and they're all hypocrites. Well, Tim, honestly, the it's a Auto pleasure Museum. to meet you, man. And good luck with the marathons. And Vin Diesel. Vin Diesel. There's nothing I can't do in a race car. <laughs> Well, have a good one anyway, she Tim. See you later. Right, but she's right about some of her interviews. You have a good one, man. See you later. Tom Cruise. All right. See you later. Cheers. We love Val. Val, who's Val Kilmer? Who's that? Watch the movie Val. I'll watch it. With an illusion of making movies, the best class you'll ever take. I'm on it. See you later. They were hugging and he made it on the top gun. <laughs> See you later, Tim. Have a good one, mate. I didn't think he was gonna let me leave at one point. All right, where am I going now? Do I go down there, or do I go down here? Hmm, let me go down here. I'm getting to the bottom of the hill now, so it's starting to look a bit more normal and a bit more flat down here, but I still haven't come into anywhere busy. Hollywood is literally straight down this road, but I think it's another 30 minutes. I cannot tell you how thirsty I am. I need to get some water. That's the first thing I'm doing when I get into Hollywood. I'm getting closer, but I've been walking for three hours straight now since the taxi driver dropped me off and not even just walking, hiking. I am knackered. I just need to sit down. Got another 10 minutes to walk before I'm in the center of Hollywood. And we'll see what what. The final stretch into Hollywood Boulevard. It is literally just on the next block. Look at that, that's the Capitol Records building in the back. I haven't even got into Hollywood yet. And again, the homeless situation is just still really bad here, isn't it? I don't know what is under that tent by the looks of it. Here we have it though, after miles and miles of walking. This is Hollywood Boulevard, and this is the Hollywood Walk of Fame. See all the stars on the floor? These stars literally just keep going for ages. Who have we got here? Oh, Mark Wahlberg. Who else have we got? Michael Douglas, Seth MacFarlane, Helen Parrish, whoever that is, Alan Dwan, whoever that is. These stars literally go for miles. I tell you what, walking down Hollywood Boulevard, you notice a lot of places have closed up. Like across the road, everywhere is boarded. This isn't open. There was a Starbucks on the corner, I remember from years ago. That's gone as well, like a Starbucks gone. Honestly, it's shocking to see. This whole street, there's not one place open on the whole street. I don't know if it's because of the closing time, but it's not late. I don't know, it just feels dead. I think it's a big tourist hotspot with a walk of fame as well. I'm gonna head down the other end now where the Chinese theater is. Let's see if it's a bit busier there, it should be. I've just spotted a McDonald's across the road. I'm gonna go and try and get a drink because I am so thirsty. Here we go, my beloved golden arches. Please get a drink. Is it possible to get a water, mate? Can I just grab a cup of water, yeah? That'll good, thank you, mate. Ah, thanks so much, mate, appreciate it. Have a good one, bro. Honestly, what would I do without McDonald's? McDonald's saves me every time. This is the famous crosswalk in Hollywood. It's a bit busy down this side. The Chinese theater is literally by here somewhere. Don't get me wrong, it is a bit busier down this end, but as you can see, it's still dead from what it used to be. Chinese theaters behind me here, there's obviously something going on, like a premiere or something. Let's have a look, see if we can get in. You could definitely use to just walk straight through here. I'm curious, let's see what's going on. Excuse me, what's going on in the Chinese theater tonight? There's the animation, is film festival, and ah, okay. the screening of the movie, The Boy and the Heron. Ah, okay, cool. No worries, have a good one, thank you. Right, the plan now, as you can see, it is getting dark. I need to find somewhere to sleep, because I do not fancy walking around here at night. I'm not too hungry, I ate on the plane. Obviously, I am gonna get hungry, and I could definitely do with another drink. 
Up ahead is my favorite fast food on the West Coast. It's called In and Out Burger. It is amazing, I love it. Bold statement, but second behind McDonald's. I'm gonna try the Mackey's trick here. If it works, I am gonna be over the moon. I just really, really hope they don't recognize me or I'll be in big, big trouble. And I definitely don't want that. Right, here we go. I give you In and Out Burger in LA. Right, here we go, wish me luck. Wow, it's busy. Excuse me. I, I just made an order in the drive-thru and we're missing a double-double and it's one drink of soda. Is that alright? Cheers, thank you. Cheers, thank you. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, one double-double and one drink, just the soda it was. Oh no, we've got the fried. Do you have onions on it? Um, it did, yeah. Okay, okay. Cheers, thank you. Is that a double double with onions? Yeah, yeah, and, and the cup as well for the drink. Sure. Cheers, have thanks so much. Day. Cheers, yeah. thank you. I am so happy that worked. I haven't had an in and out burger for, what, at least four years. Let me show you what a double-double is. Right, you ready for this? This is a double-double. On a double-double, two burgers, cheese, and lettuce. And don't ask me why this is so amazing, but it is. Oh. Oh, it's mega. Mega, mega. Mmm, that's so good. That has sorted me right out and the best thing about it is the cups are free refills so if I keep this cup I can get a refill whenever I want the only problem now is I'm got a clue where to go I don't know where a clue where I'm sleeping I haven't got a clue about anything and it's pitch black the only plus side is I am fed and watered which I'm very grateful for I'm gonna get another drink then we'll work it out this is gonna be a long night. So this is what I'm thinking. I'm in Hollywood now, and I don't particularly feel safe here. There's not too many hotels to go into, and the place is absolutely dead. On top of that, in and out closes at 2 a.m., so it's not as if I can, worst case scenario, just sit in there all night. So, I'm thinking which part of LA would I rather be in, and I'd probably say like Santa Monica. It's by the beach, there's a lot of hotels down there, a lot of tourists down there. So I need to head there. However, there is no way I can walk there. LA is just too big. So the only way I can get there is the subway. But obviously I'm on a no money challenge, so I'm gonna have to try and sneak in. I'm heading to Hollywood Metro Station now, and I'm gonna see if I can sneak on the Metro. I hope it's doable. Last time I was here, I could do it, but they might have changed the gates, they might have up security, who knows. So I'm gonna walk there now, and then we'll see what the situation is when we get there. But let me tell you, the LA metro system is rough as toast. This is gonna be interesting. Freddy, how's it going? It's not every day you bump into Freddy Krueger on the street. Here we go, what is this gonna be like? The Hollywood Highland Metro Rail. What are the chances of getting on this? I wonder how safe LA actually is, especially walking around with this big camera. Well, it looks like we're gonna find out. Here we go, no one seems to be working. Oh, there is someone working. Wow, let's quickly divert. How are you, you good? That guy's working. Can I sneak through? I'm sneaking through. Right, I've made it, and the guy isn't there. Happy days. Where's this one going? Union Station. That's downtown, isn't it? Union Station. Right, let's jump on. Just looking at the map now, it goes to Union Station. I need to get off at 7th Street, Metro Centre. Right, I'm at Metro Centre, 7th Street now. I need to change here to go to Santa Monica, but I haven't got a clue which line. I hope I don't have to go back through the gates and back in anywhere. Let me ask this guy. Excuse me, man. How do I get to Santa Monica from here? The other side? The other side? Yeah. Ah, so Santa go Monica. back down and under. Go, yeah, go back up. Then Actually, up. Uh, this way. And go this way? You're gonna go straight up the stairs to the left, yep. and then down the other side. Okay, perfect. And w which track is it for the Santa Monica one? Just this one here, uh, is it? Santa Monica one is gonna be on platform two, so not this side, but the other side, it's gonna say E. E? Yes. Perfect. Thanks so much, guys. Really appreciate your help. Have a good night. Fair play, top guys, but this Metro is the sketchiest one, I'll be honest, that I have ever been on in the entire world. There's people just shouting everywhere. What the hell? This is a mad place, this. Excuse me, guys. When's the uh, next Metro to Santa Monica? 
Four minutes. Four minutes. Yes. Ah, perfect. Okay. Thank you. This metro is the most interesting metro I have ever been on in my right? life. Right? Oh, yeah. Wow. What have you seen? We've, we've seen, seen dancing, we've seen shouting. You've probably seen a lot more than me. But yeah. Is it 24 hours? No, it's it not at 12. At, at 12. It stops at 12. Ah, okay. I was going to say, where are you guys from? From LA or? I am, yeah. I haven't been to Hollywood since like 2018. It's the a place. Lot changed, huh? The, it's like a ghost town. The whole place is like boarded up. It's changed massively in like five yes. years. Yeah, I would say after like COVID and Corona, a lot has changed. Really? Yeah. What? So COVID just killed it? Pretty much. Killed everything. A lot of things. A lot. And it's what? And it's just not recovered. Uh, slowly but surely it is. Like What's downtown LA like now? <laughs> Even worse. Yeah, a little. I mean, Where? Downtown. Oh yeah. Yeah. Re what, even worse than five years ago? Yeah, because yeah. now it's like the homeless rate is just like skyrocketing yes. and it keeps going up. So, it's you know. But why, why aren't anybody doing anything about it? It's crazy. It's like LA is like one of the biggest cities in the world. But this you know is, what this is what's is happening. They're trying to like, bring out all the poor yeah. people. Lovely to speak to you guys. This is the train, yeah? Awesome. See you later. I've just jumped on this metro to Santa Monica and I've met Shirley. <laughs> Where are you from LA? I'm from LA. I'm How here. long have you been in LA for? Are you born here? I was born and raised here. Ah, amazing. How did you find the metro? Sketchy? Yeah, it's a little very <laughs> sketchy. I had my bike stolen once already. Really? So now I'm like very particular where I leave my bike. That's yeah. such a shame. Did you just like chain it up and it just went? Yeah, basically. They have like the tools to saw through the post. Oh my. But you know, it's every, it's not just in LA, it's yeah. every city. So that's such a shame though, isn't it? What do you do for work? I'm trying to be a personal trainer. That's my passion, you know? So yeah, oh, that's amazing. You should definitely follow your passion. Uh -huh. If anybody wants personal training sessions, hook Shirley up. What's Santa Monica like at Venice? A safety point of view because that's where I'm headed now. Santa Monica is a little safer than downtown. downtown what about like Hollywood? Cars, about the same. Right? Really? There's a lot of crazy. But where are you staying? Um, nowhere tonight. I'm actually doing a 24 hour no money challenge. Thanks. Have you got any tips for me in Santa Monica? Um, is there any hacks that you'd like to make me aware of? Ask people for money. Oh, <laughs> I know. I'm you. definitely not asking anyone for money. 100%. I don't want any money. Well, it's going to be a long night, let me tell you. Depending on where I go, I might manage to nod off for an hour. Sleep on the beach. Is that safe though? Yeah, it's not super crazy. So there's no that's crazies that's by the beach? Clear. The weather's nice. You just need a towel. I know, I'll be like covered in sand. There's no crabs on the beach or anything like that. No. <laughs> Honestly, I do not want any cash at all. I would not take it off you even if you give it me. But I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Money comes and goes. Try not to hold any attachment. Yeah, definitely. But it was nice meeting you. Yeah, it was lovely to meet nice you too. To nice to meet you, you too. And good luck with your personal training. I hope you smash it. Shirley, have a good one. You too. Lovely to meet you. Have a great night. See you later. It was worth coming on the metro just to meet Shirley. But I might be sleeping on Santa Monica Beach. I don't know how I feel about that. But if needs must, that's what's happening. Just counting how many stops I've got to go, I've got eight stops to go and I've already been on it for at least eight. This is a long way. I just hope that I don't have to scan a ticket on the way off it. I should have asked Shirley that actually. One stop to go and we're there. And we've made it to downtown Santa Monica. How am I going to get out of here? Please be easy. Oh, here you go. Emergency exit. Oh, that was easy. That was the easiest thing in the world. Everybody just walks through the gate. I don't think anybody pays for it. When I walk around Hollywood, I half know where I'm going because obviously I've been there before. With Santa Monica, I've probably spent a day here in my entire life. So I have not got a clue here. It looks all right, but I'm just heading down to the beach. There we have it, the famous Santa Monica Pier. To think it's getting on a bit. It's still quite busy. Yeah? But all the restaurants here are all closed. There's still quite a fair few people on the pier. That's the thing, on this pier, all there is is like fair rides and like arcades and stuff. So it's pointless wasting time here because I can't really do anything with it anyway. Let me look at the situation on this beach. It's a pretty big beach. That is the whole of Santa Monica Beach. And there's people in the background there by the waves. I think it looks all right on there, to be honest. It doesn't feel sketchy here at all. Do you know what? Hell with it. I haven't got any better options, have I? I'm just going to go and sit on the sand by the waves for a bit. I'll see how I feel if I get cold. We'll reassess the situation then. There's a guy metal detecting here. I wonder how well he does if people drop money on the beach or something. Let's ask him, see if he's friendly. Have you found anything? Yeah. Oh, wow. 9 to 5 is silver. That's silver? Yeah, plata. <laughs> oh, wow. Do you find a lot here? Yeah, right now. Right now you found this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
And do you come every night? Yeah, every night in different, different weeks. Uh. And do you find a lot? Yeah, yeah. That's amazing. So how much will that bracelet be worth? Maybe $60, $60. $60? Yeah. Fair play. What else have you found today? This Cartier. Oh, wow. <laughs> Oh, uh, you it's, it's, it's fake. <laughs> ah, it's a fake. Oh, yeah. I thought it was a proper car to you yes, then. Uh, 3,000 green. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yes, it's fake. I bet you wish it was real. So is this your job? Do you make money from doing this? Yeah, I have uh, three years of detecting. Three years yeah, of three doing years. this? In my house, I have uh, 180 grams of uh, gold. 180 grams of gold? Yeah. So what is the most expensive thing you've ever found? Platinum. Platinum yeah, ring? Platinum, yeah. And how much was that worth? Uh, 300. 300? 300 dollars, 300. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. What was your name, sorry? Oh, Raul. Raul, Simon. Okay, Simon. Nice, nice to, to meet nice you. To meet you I hope you find lots of platinum. Okay. Good luck, Raul. See you later. How cool is that? Raul's just finding rings and silver and gold and everything out here. Flipping heck, I might bring my metal detector next time, see if I can earn some money. Well, this looks like it's us for tonight, doesn't it? Oh my god. Well, at least I actually feel safe here. At least there's no like creepy people about. I just hope no one comes and steals my bag. Right, let's find a spot. I'm gonna be absolutely covered in sand here. Oh well, beggars can't be choosers. Right, this'll do. Oh, I am gonna be covered in sand. Oh! I tell you what, it's actually pretty comfy. Bastel, why on earth have you done this to me? You've thrown me right under the bus. I could have been in a nice hotel room tonight, Bastel. <sighs> oh, wow. There's a few couples on this beach. I'm not going to point out what I think they're doing, but let's just say they're definitely having a good time. How many hours sleep do you reckon I'm going to get here tonight? I don't reckon a lot. At least the sound of the waves will help me go to sleep. Oh. Right, I'm going to put this camera in my bag and I'm going to tie the bag to me just in case someone does try and take it while I'm sleeping. Wish me luck and we'll see how we get on. Oh my god, I am so tired. I reckon I've had one hour max. Time now is 3.36 in the morning. Update, they've turned all the lights off on the pier. There is no sign of Raoul, of any couples, anybody. Everybody is gone except... We've got this person who's popped up, who wasn't there before. I think it's only one, but I think he's under something. And then you've got another one just in the distance there. So there's two people sleeping on the beach here. The only bonus about all this is that it's not cold at all. You'd think it'd be freezing, wouldn't you? But it's just not. Time to get sandy again. Oh, God. This is hard work, this. My eyes are watering. I think the guy behind me is just woken up. Right, I'm gonna try and get a few more hours sleep. By a few, I think I'm being very optimistic. Oh, I'm gonna sleep once there's my no money challenge is over, let me tell you. Right, that's all I'm gonna knock off those. It's got a bit chilly, so I've decided to have a walk. They've lit the pier up again, and as it stands, the sun is still not up. The time now is 6.46 in the morning. I did not think I'd be walking down Santa Monica Beach at 6.46 this morning. It's actually pretty nice, this beach walk. I just wish it wasn't under these circumstances. Covered in sand. Hey, yeah, you've got the tractor mowing the beach over here. Thank God I stood up. Which way are you walking? That way or that way? Why, are we not allowed to walk the same way? I just don't like walking along with people. You don't like walking along with people? I, that I don't know? No, I don't. Ah, okay. I wasn't walking with you, mate. I was I, just walking by the sea. I know. Okay. Which way would you want to walk? And I'll go the other way. How about that? Nice Have a good one, man. What a weird bloke. I am literally stood on the beach and there's no one else here. I was only walking along the sea. The sun is finally coming out and the sky is clearing up and I am extremely tired. I reckon in total on that beach. I wouldn't like to guess. I reckon two or three hours sleep last night. I could definitely do with more. I could fall asleep now. Just spotted some swings. Definitely jumping on this. Look at these bad boys. It's quite therapeutic this first thing in the morning. Right, so the plan for today. So over here is Santa Monica Pier where I came from and that's Santa Monica, right? This path here goes all the way down to Venice Beach. I reckon if we walk down to Venice Beach and we see what's happening down there. This is a nice walk to be fair. People skateboarding and bikes down here, walking here. You've got about 50 volleyball nets in the back. 
I tell you what though, after all that walking yesterday and the fact I've only had two hours sleep, this walk is hard. It's 10 times harder than it would normally be. I'm definitely getting a bit hungry now, but I might just power through to the end of the 24 hours. Might see if there's a coffee shop though, try and bag a coffee. And I definitely need to catch up on some sleep. Wow, look at these houses on the beach here. I wouldn't mind having one of them straight onto that. I think I'm coming into Venice now, it's getting a bit busier. I'm officially in Venice Beach. It's unreal to meet you, man. I ah, appreciate oh, that, man. massive fan. I was like, who is this scouse here? Was like, <laughs> how long are you in LA for? Just today, I think. Um, I don't even know where I'm going next yet. Where are you going now? I'm just going to head down there. Muscle Beach is down there, so you might see, that's where Schwarzenegger and all hangs out. Ah, no way. Then, what was your name, sorry, mate? I'm Niall. Niall, nice to meet nice you, pal. Nice to meet you, dude. Man, I love your stuff, man. I love your content. Ah, I really dude, appreciate you're, that. You're just like a normal dude. Lovely to meet you, mate. Yeah, Look after yourself. Dude. Appreciate you stopping. No worries, See you later, pal. Have a good one. Oh, my God. A Ben and Jerry's shop. How would I go about bagging an ice cream? I've ordered four ice creams and I'm missing one. I don't think they'll buy that. Let me show you the skate park. This is class. I remember when I last came here, I was just watching these skaters. You get some mega ones. This is so cool. I wish I could skate. This place is fun and it has definitely got a good vibe to it. All the palm trees, graffiti everywhere, skate park in the back, and then you've got all the shops here on the front. Some very interesting people though, for sure. There's a lot more happening here than in Hollywood. Look at these lads playing basketball. Is he gonna get it? Fair play. Just walking through here, there's a few basketball courts. I'm sure this is Muscle Beach over here. This is it, the famous Muscle Beach. Muscle Beach, Venice, and then you've got some sort of like stadium there. And then this is all the gym equipment. Day pass, $10. Everyone must check in at the Muscle Beach office. Fair play to him. That's more than I've lifted in the last month. And over here, you've got loads of like paddle courts and tennis courts, families playing. I like it down here. And that's it. I have just walked the whole of Venice Beach and I'm at the end. I'm going inland now. What is here? It just looks like there's loads of restaurants, but I ain't going in any with no money, am I? Oh, wait, yeah, there's a Starbucks here. Let's see if we can get a free coffee. Hey, how's it going? Do you do free refills in Starbucks in the US? Um, yeah, but there's a lot of like little clauses. Oh, wow, what are the clauses? So, it has to be the same store. Yeah. Like, if you leave the store, we won't, we can't do the refill anymore. Ah, uh, It's okay. only brewed coffee or brewed tea, so it could yeah. be like cold brew, iced coffee, iced tea, hot tea. Yeah. It can only be that, and we don't do like the lemonade. Yeah, okay, no, I get that. Well, I got a brewed coffee from here earlier. I know I've left, but is yeah, it? Yeah, and then once you leave, it, it Is there anything it. you can do with the brewed coffee? Coffee. No, I'm so sorry. There's nothing. I no really worries. can't. And like, we used to be really cool about it because, like, the yeah. beach is right there, people would go. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. our DM is cracking down because people are like coming all day long for refills. Ah, uh, So fair now enough. she's like, I want a receipt. And you have to have a receipt. So you have to show uh, receipt. Okay. You can't. Once you leave the store, no worries. Go. I'm so sorry. No, don't be sorry. It's all good. Thanks so much. See you later. No coffee's happening today. I'm starving. I just need this 24 hours to end now. So what I'm gonna do is, there's a few hotels, so I'm gonna go and chill here, see these 24 hours out as soon as that stops. Oh, I'm getting a shower, I'm getting a hotel, and I'm getting some food. Right, let me see which hotel I can get into and just chill out in for a bit. I've done enough steps in the last 24 hours to last me a week, and I'm not even joking. Here we go, I'm coming to a hotel now. This looks posh. Wish me luck here, hopefully I can get to the pool. Fair play, this does look nice. How do I get to the pool? The pool is that way. Ah, just right down here. Uh -huh. Perfect, thank you. That's great, thank you so much. See you later. I think you can see the store here. So far, so good. I'm back outside. Looks quite nice, but is anybody gonna ask me? Oh no, look at the door. Look what we've got here. We've got a gate. That just happens to be open. Happy days. Oh, I'm gonna sit over here. This bed has got my name written all over it. Oh my God, I can't believe that gate was open. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Look at this place. You've got beds there, pool there, and that must be the hotel. That is a nice pool. All I've gotta do now is just lie and enjoy the sun and wait for this 24 hours to be over. I tell you what, my hair is full of sand from sleeping on that beach last night. It's full of it. Right, I'm gonna see if I can get some sleep. It's not gonna be a lot, but even if I get an hour, oh, not long until this 24 hours is over. Right, are you ready to hear the time? 
Oh, I'm so tired. What time is it at all? 4.14. 414. Yes. Perfect. Thanks very much. 414. You know what that means? It means the no money challenge is over. I'm getting out of this hotel now. I'm going to find somewhere to stay. I'm going to roll the dice and let's see where we go next. Have a good one. If you've not got me on Instagram, it's at Simon J. Wells and I'll see you soon.